Hey everybody, it's Gamerog, we're back with Final Fantasy 7, and today, we're gonna finish off Sephiroth. Hopefully, not blow it like last time. <laughs> I'm doing way more damage now, so this should hopefully not be as bad, but he could still devastate us pretty bad with that um, crazy... Uh, what was that, Supernova? Yeah! But luckily now no one can get confused and kill me, so it should be okay. Man, that wall is blocking a good deal of damage. I'm going to heal everyone. <laughs> I learned Shadow Flare. Oh man. Oh, this music's so epic. So good. Alright, uh, you know what? Let's use a Mega Elixir. I'm kind of afraid. And let's see if I can de bury it. A lot of, it's a lot of yada you got there. <laughs> it's a lot of magic in this game. Oh yeah, fly up in the air. See if I care. You big punk. Oh yeah, there we go. I wonder if that um, supernova just brings me down to like 5% health or something. Oh, speaking of, here it is. The most baloney attack known to man. Yeah, I should have Tifa on like perma heal duty. In case he casts this thing. <laughs> but yeah, luckily no one's confused, or no one can get confused this time. I just got really unlucky with Tifa being confused and having Slash All and killing herself and Barret at the same time. And then my controller freaked out on Cloud, but I don't even know if I could have reached the option in time. <laughs> Yeah, this time should be okay. I don't have that um, final attack Phoenix backup res, whatever it is, but that's okay. I think we'll be okay. See how much faster he used this attack? I think we're just demolishing his health right now. <laughs> So hyped to see the end of this game, you guys. Oh man. Oh yeah, and when I was fighting the form before this one, uh, it actually had me split people up into three groups instead of two. So I had a group of just Kate Sith and Red. And they were on the right side, and then Vincent, Yuffie, and Sid were on the left side, and then Cloud, Teep, and Barret were in the middle. It The fight went pretty much the same, but it was three groups instead of two. I'm not sure why that happens, but I don't know. It was a little different, so. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Yep, Tifa, now's a good time for that heal. Go for it. 
So Cloud's damage is based on his current health, not his max health. Interesting. I'm on the brink of death, Tifa, please. Thank you. In fact, we're gonna help that along a little bit. <laughs> Heartless Angel. Oh my god! Oh my god! Counterattacks. Bam, bam, bam. Mega Elixir, please! In fact, Tifa, why don't you just spam that? I am afraid of everything he does at this point. <laughs> Such a hacker, man. Oh, did we do it? Oh my god, look at that. Look how much easier it was. Yes, explode into light. Freakish man. And your wings of doom. It was like breaking apart into pieces. Oh, that's cool looking. Whoa. That is pretty sweet. Was that the end? <laughs> Does he have another form? This is all we could do. Wait, what about Holy? What's gonna happen to the planet? Yeah, what happened to Holy? It was right there. That, I don't know. Isn't the rest up to the planet? You're right. What? No, we have to use Holy, guys. Remember? We've done all that we could do. Uh. Alright. <laughs> All right, everyone. We did our best. That's it. Let's go home proud, and hopefully not dead. We didn't even use holy. Does a planet have to use holy? What happened? I feel it. What? He's still here. Oh my god. Are you serious? Oh no. Still. Cloud? He's laughing. Oh. oh. Cloud! Oh, and then he made the Triforce with the other goddesses. Are you serious? He's still alive? In the live stream? Are we fighting in the live stream? <laughs> I'm glad he's not some crazy god, he's just a man now. Final face off. Dude, you're epic. Oh, Omni Slash.
did we, did we get him? Oh yeah. Bested. Live stream? <gasps> oh, it's Tifa. Was that Eris's hand? Oh, man. Get out of there. Oh. Oh my god. We're still hanging. Not not time for good. I think I'm beginning to understand. What? An answer from the planet. The promised land. I think I can meet her there. Yeah, let's go meet her. So, we can actually talk to her again? Hey, where is everyone? Hey! I'm glad you're all safe. Heck yeah. They all seem to be safe too. But, now what are we gonna do? Holy should be moving soon. And that means this place will. Oh, Lady Luck, don't fail me now. Uh oh, lost his cigarette. Oh my god. The high wind. <laughs> That's like the coolest airship ever. <laughs> That's that tower we looked out of. In Calm. The flower girl? What? My god. <laughs> Look how close it was, man. Oh no, Midgar is being completely destroyed. If Rufus wasn't dead, he sure is now. My God. Oh. 
Holy blaster. Wait a damn minute. What's going to happen to Midgar? We can't let that happen. I had everyone take refuge in the slums. But the way things are now... It's too late for Holy. Meteor is approaching the planet. Holy is having the opposite effect. Forget Midgar. We gotta worry about the planet. Seriously? What's that? Oh. I don't know. Livestream? Stream. Yep. Wow. Everybody wants front row seats. <laughs> it's coming. Is that Marlene? That must be Marlene. She's putting her right in the middle of everything. <laughs> Sephiroth wishes he had that much live stream juice. Oh my god. Oh, hi, Eris. How's it going? And that's where it ends? Holy cow. Well, that was definitely an epic ending there. Whew. I like that you get to fight Sephiroth again. It's just a man, man, man on man action. <laughs> you take him out with one epic Omni Slash. So cool, man. Wow. I really like this game. I, I think it deserves the hype. Uh, and not just because it was the first uh, Final Fantasy game to be in 3D. It has a lot going for it, like, just all the little mini-games and stuff you got to play along the way and all the cool side stories, and the characters are all really awesome, and they stick true to their, their actual characters the whole game, which is great. I had that problem with Final Fantasy 13. like, towards the end, they all talked the same way, and I was like, don't these people have their own personality? Why, 
Why are they all saying the same things? You can just interchange who's saying it. But this one, this game, you, you know, everybody had their own story. And you got to, I don't know, it's really good characters. And I like the, the gritty, uh, Midgar, like, metallic, uh, techno-punk feel of all that stuff. And Shinro was actually, I think, a better en enemy than Sephiroth. Well, I, hear me out, though. So Sephiroth is, is cool and all, but it, the whole game, it's like you're wondering... What is his real motivation? Like, he just kind of snapped one day when he read some books. And then all of a sudden he wanted to become a god and destroy all of humanity. Like... Okay. I, I guess that's what a lot of really bad guys do, but... I don't know. It feels like he should have had more of a character. <laughs> than just... A super bad guy. I don't know. And even during that end there, he never he never talks to you. In the whole ending part. I don't think he said one word. And maybe that's more epic, but I don't know. It's just weird. It's just a weird way they handled that, but it's okay. Uh, he's still a really awesome boss, so... <laughs> um, yeah. One thing I wish they had explained more of is, uh, Genova. Like, really the whole reason a lot of this happened was because of Genova, but, you know, at the end, before you even fight Sephiroth, you just, like, kill off Genova? Or whatever's left of it that's not in Sephiroth or something? I, I don't know. It's not already been taken. <laughs> it's just like a weird husk thing with it's a part of a body and tentacles. I don't know. Like, Genova was really the start of most of this when she landed in ancient times uh, when the ancients were alive. Infiltrated the ancients. They thought. She, it was part of their tribe, and then it, like, infected them with something, and it spread to the other tribes of Ancients. Right? Isn't that what happened? Like, that... I feel, I feel like that should have been elaborated on a bit more, because that's kind of really important. <laughs> what, like, I want to know what that that infection was. Was it madness? Because that explains why Sephiroth went mad. Because the Genova cells probably caused him to go crazy. It also explains why Hojo went crazy. Because he was trying to, like, infuse himself with Genova cells. Right? So maybe that was the infection that Genova spread everywhere. And then it gave him, like, super mutation powers also. But I don't know. Yeah. But anyway. Overall... This is a great RPG, <laughs> and uh, definitely, it may even be the best RPG I've played, but I I don't know about that. Because the first RPGs I've played, like Skies of Arcadia and Grandia 2, I think, were the first, some of the first ones. But, you know, you, you get the nostalgia factor in there, so they kind of get a bump for that, but... If I had played this one first, this would probably be my favorite. It's really good. It's really good. And I like all the side stuff you can do. Like, these side quests in this game are ridiculous. They, you have to spend so many hours just doing, working on these side things. That's awesome. Love that. Those weapon fights were ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, I, I really don't know what else to say. Awesome. I hope you guys really enjoyed, uh, it, it seems like you guys were enjoying this series. <laughs> and you didn't mind that I was started looking stuff up towards the end there. Because, uh, I don't know. 
trying to figure out some of that stuff on my own would be really time consuming and frustrating. I feel so. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, this was a fun series. I like this. It's fun to play games blind. Uh, but at the same time, you have to balance that out with making sure that everything is keeps going, you know? You're not stopping in one place for too long to try to keep everything interesting for everybody. Uh, so... It's a crazy balancing act, but it's really fun to play games blind on YouTube. 500 years later? Well, I guess we're all dead. What? Is that red? Wow, he lives so long, and he has little cublings. Nanaki hype? Wow, he's like super chieftain now with all those feathers. Oh wow. Midgar is all overgrown. Well. Awesome. I guess the planet's living on. Maybe without people. Or maybe with people. Okay then. I guess that's that's that. It just closed the game. So uh yeah. Thanks for watching guys. I'm glad you enjoyed this LP. I sure did. Um not sure what I'm gonna do next, but it might be a smaller project while I try to think of what next big game I wanna play. Uh yeah. So anyway. See you guys later. Bye-bye.